In this video, we're going to look at neural correlate explanation of schizophrenia. So this is a biological explanation, and it's going to look at brain structure as a cause of schizophrenia. Now, the two different brain sort of um, structures that we're going to talk about are the prefrontal cortex and white matter and grey matter within the brain. The prefrontal cortex and hippocampal regions has been linked to the development of schizophrenia, in particular the cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia. Now it's believed that it is deficits within the prefrontal cortex and its connections to other brain areas that results in these cognitive symptoms. Research has suggested that it is a dysfunction within the hippocampus that is linked to cognitive impairment in schizophrenia. In terms of white matter and grey matter, it is a reduction in the white matter pathways and the grey matter. So individuals with schizophrenia have a reduced volume of grey matter and reduced white matter pathways. Research has suggested that individuals with schizophrenia shows a greater loss and a steeper rate of grey matter loss and reduced white matter within the prefrontal cortex and its connection to the hippocampus. So if we were to look at a past paper question, then this is assessing its AO1, which of the following best describes neural correlates as an explanation of schizophrenia A, B, C or D? And you write the answer in your answer booklet. So remember with paper three, this is your option booklet. So you'll have a question and answer booklet. So there is a correlation between brain plasticity and symptoms of schizophrenia. There is a correlation between brain st structure and function and symptoms of schizophrenia. There is a correlation between dysfunctional thinking and symptoms of schizophrenia. And there's a correlation between size of neurons and symptoms of schizophrenia. So for this one, your answer would be B. There's a correlation between brain structure and function of the symptoms in schizophrenia. So remember the neural correlates links to brain structure and that is part of a neural explanation or biological explanation of schizophrenia. So if we were to look at some AO3s then, some evaluation points. So there is supporting evidence, which is a strength. So schizophrenic um, patients showed significant grey matter loss over time. In particular, it was a reduction in the frontal, temporal and proprietal lobes. So this supports the link and the association between brain areas and schizophrenia. So that helps strengthen the assumptions that certain brain areas are linked to the development of schizophrenia. In particular, it is a reduction or deficits within those brain regions. It is useful, so that is another, another strength. So there are practical applications, in particular for treatments. So early detection and interventions may prevent the development of the disorder. In particular, hallucinations and delusions are present in some people despite having normal dopamine levels. So that suggests that neurotransmitters um, might not be the sole um, cause and it could be linked to brain regions. And in particular, if we can um, detect um, the development of the disorder, we might be able to prevent that reduction in, um, in deficits within those brain regions. Equally, we have issues surrounding the testability of um, this theory. So research is correlational, which is problematic. So we can't say that lower grey matter causes schizophrenia because we can't establish a causal relationship. So that means a reduction in the white and grey matter could be a consequence of having schizophrenia and a symptom of schizophrenia rather than the cause of schizophrenia. Therefore, abnormal neural correlates might not be a valid explanation of schizophrenia. So if we were to look at a 16 marker then, discuss one or more biological explanation of schizophrenia for 16 marks. Now you could go down the route talking about neural correlates, however I suggest that that would not be the most beneficial route in this type of essay because there isn't that wealth of information and you might find you don't have that breadth of information to talk about. So I'd suggest doing two biological explanations. So you could do genetics and you, or you could do dopamine hypothesis alongside neural correlates. Now remember if you're going down the route of doing two, I would suggest structuring it as 
um, AO1 of one explanation and evaluate it, then your outline of the second explanation and evaluate it. Rather than doing all of the outline together and all the evaluation together, it could become a bit disjointed in that structure. Equally, remember that the command word discuss means outline and evaluate. Now, it should be obvious when you see a 16 marker that you have to include evaluation, but equally, you could get an 8 marker on discuss neural correlates as an explanation of schizophrenia, which means you would have to do outline and evaluate. Now, for 8 marks, it would be one evaluate, um, one AO1 paragraph and two evaluation points. For a 16 marker, two AO1 paragraphs three to four evaluation points.